Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. This is Real Magic Review. And if it's all right with you, I'd like to review the Force Anything board by Joel Dickinson and Andrew Dean. Before we review the Force Anything board, can you please like this video? Can you hit the subscribe button? Hit the little bell icon. Very important this, because when I go live, you'll get notifications. And uh, I do have to share it on Facebook and stuff like that, but I'd rather not. It'd be nice to do it, wouldn't it? And check out cardmagiccourse.com if you would like to learn from me. If you like this, you will love that. I've just received, I'm sure you won't mind me uh, reading it out. Just received from a new uh, member, loving the course. I've started the Royal Road and structure is just absolutely what I needed and was hoping for. It's great to have some focus again. Look at that, that's good, isn't it? So um, that's available. And if you're not sure, you can have a free course, a mini course on the spread cull, which I think is the most powerful moving card magic and on the course, I will go into why. So just go on to cardmagiccourse.com forward slash cull, C-U-L-L. Have a look at that. That is yours for free, no pressure. You'll get a few emails after that giving you cool stuff, uh, but no, no spamminess. So there you go. That's that. Uh, let's get, look at this. So I was, um, this arrived and I wasn't very enthusiastic about it really. I don't know why. I, I didn't know what it was. Because I, 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 like I said, I like to do that thing of kind of knowing as little as possible before I watch that download. I don't look at the form. I don't look at anything. Um, and I've, I've uh, always liked what Joel and Andrew did. I've worked with Andrew before, doing close up, and I know that Joel, um, I've worked with him, but I know that he does a lot of stage. I've seen footage of him. They both know what they're doing. And like they say, they're, they're real workers making stuff for real workers. And I was thinking, are they, or is that just a nice thing to say? Uh, and we'll see at the end. So obviously I knew this was a force board, but I, I, I started watching it and then realised quickly what it actually was. So obviously I, I know what forcing something is, but it's, if, if you use digital force bag, it's an analogue version of that, but it's clearly an analogue version of stuff that came out way before digital force bags. <laughs> so it just made me think about it. But the, the thing is, you've got, um, let me show you. So you've got a uh, free... Let's say one, uh, 10 items I've written on here, and you say, right, we've got 10 items, and we're, they're parts of the body, and, uh, and everybody, and somebody just give me a number between 1 and 10. They say um, number 4, and you go, right, you could have chose 7, 8, 9, 10, you chose 4, and I'm going to get my pen. I had to go and get my pen then. I forgot it. <laughs> I'm going to get my pen, and I'm going um, to circle number 4. Uh, and you could have chosen any number, and you see that one is waste. Okay, so they've circled waste. Uh, sorry, that would have been out of focus a little bit, but it doesn't matter. You get the idea. So basically, they can say any number. You can have 20 things on there, uh, and that's your force. Now, this is a, a, a four one. You can get smaller ones, which is a five, and, it get, and the number gets bigger as it goes smaller, if you want to do it more for close-up. And the idea is, you, as it says, you can force anything you like. So that interested me because I've been, I use digital force bag a lot when I'm online and stuff. And then there's a clip of Andy doing this for a Zoom show. And I was like, of course, it's, it's a really nice force. And, and I, I use a phone a lot in my Zoom show. So I'm always looking for ways of doing things without a phone. And that isn't taking away from, from any of the ways of doing it with a phone. But I just, you know, it's all kind of happening on the phone. It's nice to have something uh, analog. It's kind of like an analog force board. board that's what it is. So... I thought, OK, and, and then as soon as I watched it, my, my mind started ticking. And actually, I had a version of this. I've already written it out, which is, um, which is swear words to force me. <laughs> I've already come up with a routine. But what a brilliant idea for certain shows. It's just going to be brilliant. Just the idea of reading them all out is great. So I might even, <laughs> I'm writing my show at the moment, so it's very tempting. The download is very good. It goes into how to set it up, which is very, very minimal. They do it all for you. And then it goes into how to do it, which is, again, very simple. And it gives you a couple of routines. Joel has got one. I think it's called Fruitful, if I remember rightly. And Andy's is Hats Off to Me, I think it's called. Sorry if I got any of them wrong. They're kind of that-ish. Um, I think that's right. And Andy's routine is really nice, actually. He, he's got a deck of cards in a hat, and he does, does it with that. And then at the end, it's the only item in there. And that's a really nice routine for, for, for Cabaret. And um, for a Zoom show, that's the one he's got footage of him doing on a Zoom show. And then Joel's is a lovely routine as well with a, a can of fruit. I'm not going to go into details, but really, really nice. Loads of moments in it. 
And the good thing is you can see a version on Zoom and then you see Joel doing it with a live audience, which is really nice. It's genuinely going down really well. And there's a lot of potential here, isn't there? Because, you know, there's a reason why we, we do a lot of this kind of stuff, forcing one item, because there's, once you've got that force, you can do so much with it. You know, I can, I've used things like a maze box, which is a similar thing, obviously, for a stage, but done very differently, got a very different feel to it. But this, I think, is way better than I thought it was going to be at the beginning. The funny thing is, I got it out, and it's, um, it's got the couple of gimmicks that you need. It's got everything, totally everything you need, except for the bit of paper. Really everything you need. They even um, put a penny in there, which is the size of the thing you need to do, the thing you have to do to prepare, which takes seconds. It's not no arts and crafts. And they give you extra ones of the thing, the gimmick, in case you want to customise it a little bit. But I got it out, and what the f when I first looked at it, I kind of went, oh, that's, that's not cut very well. That a bit looks a bit shonky. God, I'm going to have to mention that. And then when I watched it, I realised that that's kind of the point. That's why it's like it is. So it's, I was thinking, <laughs> I've got to rush these out a bit. But no, it's all been thought through. It's very easy. This is the other lovely thing. Now, I perform a couple of mentalism routines on stage, and I always get a bit nervous. And they're not hard, but I sometimes, if I've got cognitive overload, I'm trying to perform, deal with an audience member. This is just a great opener and incidentally a great closer if you look at joel's trick and andy's actually you could you could close with them um but this has got a really nice it's because it's so easy and it's strong and you can take it off into a comedy routine or something a bit more serious i think it's great like they said uh they say in it it's it's a clipboard and it's just it's a, it's a prop it's something you use so people can see it so you turn it around and you know there's no heat on it so when you do actually the magic stuff the really good stuff that's been put away that's done and I do think this is really good, actually. I, the, 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 the way, it, the easy, ease of use is very important. The way it, it goes on to its versatile is very important. And it's just a really solid piece of work. I really like it. And I, I have absolutely no doubt in my next Zoom show I'm using it. And that's a lot. I'm looking for Zoom stuff at the moment. But it's really good because I, I want to find ways that aren't using my phone to force things and this is a really nice thing to do you know social distance and all that kind of stuff so there it is uh, force anything board i think i'm not going to mention the price because i always say it and then realize i've got it wrong and i have to go and cut it back in but have a look just click the links below and please do people send me this stuff no affiliate links but do click them obviously the stuff down below will be uh, there's a link to the free spread cold course most powerful uh, moving car magic if you ask me my humble opinion um which is cardmagiccourse.com forward slash cull. And do, of course, check out Card Magic Course. That would be lovely. By the way, if you do get that cull course, I'll send you some really cool stuff and blogs. I'm not going to spam you, but over the next... Um, and they, that won't be available on here as well. So there'll be some stuff I'll link to on here, but some own videos, but, um, but you'll get some exclusive stuff. So like and subscribe as well. Take care. Have a great one. See you later. And thank you to the real workers, guys, for sending me this.